Hi, it's James Hurston. It's New Lesson Day, and today we're going to take another rudiment, and in its most basic form, show you something you can do with it. If you're advanced, you, you, you know, may not want to watch this. That's up to you. Um, what we're going to do today is talk about a double paradiddle. Um, and you can go back to my rudiment lessons from a year ago and just look that up. Uh, but basically, I teach it by just saying the word double paradiddle. When you say the word diddle, hit whatever hand you're on two times. Double paradiddle. Then you can do it again, starting with the left hand. So when you put it back to back, double paradiddle. Okay. Now, in its rudimental form, we always accent the first note. That's the way it is in the chart. It's a great rudiment, and it's used for a lot of things, but what we're going to do today with it is just use it because it really is not exactly accurate, but it kind of lends itself to an Afro-Cuban 6-8 type of beat. I'm going to put the right hand on the cowbell, and play that again. Okay, so we can get a Latin-ish sounding groove. That's, that's pretty simple, and, and, a, and a couple things you can do with that. One is just play the bass drum on, if you're thinking one, two, three, four, five, six, you're actually doing one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, six. Sorry, I'm thinking. Hitting on the beginning of each one of those. Another thing you can do is just play four on the floor, and you can do the hi hat as well on two and four. Okay, and uh, you can reverse that, but let's hold that off to another lesson. It's a little trickier until you're used to it. Um, so you have, again, I can do so the first time I went one, two, three, four, one. Second time, three, four. And now I'm going to do this. I'm using those bass drum patterns to start with because they're very obvious and they're very simple for a lot of players. Okay? And then you can also, if you want to work it up, is just play trying the different right hands. Okay? I'm going to put my uh, uh, right hand on the hi-hat for a minute and keep it closed. I can just keep adding or I can cherry pick and do I can do the first two and the last cherry pick. Uh, I'm very used to doing the last note of everything on the bass drum as well, which would be on the left in this case, but we won't do that right now. So I'll put that with a cowbell, and I'm going to randomly play. I 
did put that left that bass drum on the left hand. So it's a lot of fun. Another cool thing you can do with it that's very simple, uh, go to your cymbal bell or a hi-hat on the right and open your hand up to play the toms. So you can move that however you want. I'm going to put it on this hi-hat on the right and I'm going to play. Starting point is just a double paradiddle. Move it in different ways. which is very, very uh, common for me to do. So if I do... Oh, sorry. Move it however you want. There's so many things you can do. Another cool thing, you can actually play it over top of the double bass if you want. Okay, so our starting point again, separate the hands. Play straight bass drum. Random rights. And all kinds of things. And you can move it around. Once you get really comfortable, it's a great beat. Double fair diddle. Double fair Move around, have lots of fun. It's a great rhythm. 